In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use human motion data to control a character in Motion Builder. First, we use Motion File Import from the File menu to import motion data. We're going to use the ASF and AMC format. We use Control to select the two files together and open them at the same time. Now we have the motion file. The first frame was added such that we can see the poster very clearly. If you don't see the whole motion, make sure the end frame of your production is well set. Now we set it to 250. What we need to do next is to drag in a character under the template folder, the character, and we drag the character icon into the scenes. You don't see the character, it is invisible, but you can see in the character control menu, you have a character there. Alternatively, you can go to the S, the navigator, under character folder, you also see the newly dragged in character. This is an invisible character that map the joint of a motion builder character onto the joint structure of the motion file. What we need to do now is to tell motion builder which joint represent which position at the character. We need to drag in at least all the base joints as shown here. The first one is the hips. We can click the hips on the main window and or we can also drag the mouse using the left nav button to select the joint and then we click alternate on keyboard and drag the joint to the little boss next to the hips caps test. Now the hips of the character is mapped to the lower back joint of the motion file. We'll do the same for the upper leg in order to tell whether the character is facing us or not, we consider the foot. Because the foot is facing us, so the character should be facing us as well. Therefore, this joint will be the left leg. We alternate drag the left upper leg joint onto the boss next to the left up leg. Again, we do the same for other joints for the left leg. Then again, we press alternate on the keyboard and drag the joint for the right leg. Then it comes to the spine. It might take some charring error depending on the skeleton structure of the motion data in order to understand the best mapping between the character and the motion file. Finally, the head. Now we have all the base join. We can drag in some extra joint as supplementary mapping information. Say for example the spine, the neck, If 
you want to drag a joint, you can always double click that box and delete the mapping. Now we have all the joints mapped. We click characterized and motion builder will ask you a question. Biped means that this is a human character standing with two legs. Quadruped means that this is an animal standing with four legs. Therefore in this situation, we click biped. Now, motion builder realized that this motion file is actually a human character. Next, we drag in our 11 character. And we can select 11 in the character control window. Again, it is advisable that you reset all properties once you drag in 11, just to make sure that we don't have any funny settings. What we wish to do now is to ask 11 to follow the character of the motion, motion file. The name of the input source of the character is also called character. Now we can see that 11 is following the posture of the, of the, of the motion file. Finally, you wish to plot the character, which means that right now the character 11 depends on the motion file skeleton. By plotting a character, we copy the motion information from the motion file into, into 11 itself. So therefore, later on when you export the character into Maya or use the character for other rendering purposes, it will contain the motion information by itself. When you press the Proc Character button and Proc Skeleton, you see that the motion is unchanged, but now 11 is detached from the motion file.